Sansevieria, also commonly known as snake plant, is a very easy to grow plant and is great for indoors as well as outdoors. But there are a few do's and don'ts that we need to keep in mind when growing this plant because even though it's an easy to grow or easy to care for plant, it can also be killed very quickly and easily. This is a plant from our front garden and it had been indoors for a very long time and over a period of time after being indoors it started showing signs of dying back and I had also shared this in a couple of videos previously. So what causes these plants to die back? Sansevieria is a plant that is of a succulent variety and it doesn't need too much of water. So when we grow them indoors, there is a chance that we are overwatering these plants. So when most plants are kept indoors, they need to be watered very sparingly, only once in 7 to 10 days. And we need to check the soil to see the moisture level before watering them. Another major reason for indoor plants or sansevieria plants to die back when they are kept indoors is lack of light. So we need to make sure that they are in a spot where they receive a lot of bright indirect light. They might survive in a spot with low light conditions for a few weeks but over a period of time you will see that there is no new growth and the plant is starting to die back. So that's what we experienced with this plant. And then we moved it outdoors to our front porch. Now it is sitting right outside our front door on the front porch in the north side of our garden where it receives a lot of bright indirect light. And now it is starting to show signs of new growth. These plants can also be easily propagated by division method. So I have a few of my Sansevieria plants that I have divided and separated and they need to be repotted soon. So I have separated and taken them away from the roots and divided them so that we can get more plants. Many times when we try to take cuttings of the Sansevieria plant it does propagate well but we might not get the same variegation that is on the mother plant. So the best way to get the same variegation on your propagated plants or cuttings is through the division method. This is a different variety of Sansevieria with beautiful variegation and doesn't grow as tall as the previous variety I shared. But it is a great ground cover plant and it can be grown in spots with bright indirect light. These plants also do well in shallow containers and in plant arrangements. These are some of the simple care tips and do's and don'ts when you are growing Sansevieria plants in your garden or indoor living spaces. So please do keep watching our channel and please support us for more gardening related videos. Thanks for watching Fresh From My Garden.